Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Clan War Leagues in Tribe Gaming. We're going to see how we've been performing, uh, what the current status looks like, and then we're going to be taking a look at Day 1 specifically. A little war recap today. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, so here we are in Champions 1 in Tribe Gaming. Currently we have 279 stars. We're in the middle of uh, day six right now. Uh, War or the Door is in second place, but they're about 30 stars behind us. Pretty sure we're guaranteed the number one spot now in our division, as long as we don't do anything stupid tomorrow. Uh, here's our current War right now on day six. We've got 39 stars, even with a one star, and we still have one more attack to do. So we can finish at 42 today. And I mean, guys, these aren't easy bases. These are you know nice decent anti three star bases that one's a little weird looking but I mean as you can see these bases are real looking bases no free triples in any of these wars and we're putting up huge numbers so just really a nice job by the guys over in tribe gaming here you can take a look at the leaderboard in clan currently I think this is after the first five days Itsu on his main account. He's perfect five for five. I'm right behind him in second place And then Itsu's second account in third place Hex and Nick up there, too A lot of people doing really good this week. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first day specifically That's what we're gonna be looking at today. Uh, we got seven triples in this war on the first day So we're gonna be looking at a bunch of these Maybe all of them if we have time So first one here is gonna be by Hex and this one's gonna be what do you know Queen charge miners guys? It's working really well in the current meta. Everybody's doing it. Just Queen Charge Miners everything. A bunch of these attacks aren't going to be Queen Charge Miners though also I believe. We do have a, a bunch of Queen Charge Miners and then a bunch of other attacks like some Yeti attacks that we're going to go ahead and take a look at. So on this one specifically, remember every attack in this format is a fresh attack and you have to make sure you get the 2 star. Because we can't do any cleanup attacks so you have to make sure you have a plan to get the Town Hall. So on this one, he just wants to walk the queen this way and drop a jump over here to get the queen into the core. He wants her to get this Inferno Tower, the Eagle, the Scatter Shot, and carve out a bunch of this base to make nice pathing. That way he can send his king down this way and the miners just go right in between starting at the town hall so he knows he's going to get that two star. So here, queen takes the jump. He's going to drop the rage on her, the first rage. She's going to take out the Inferno and then take out the BK. Then she's going to start stepping up for the stuff in the core here. She's going to start targeting the scatter shot, and luckily she gets that down before she locks onto the CC, which is really important. Otherwise, he probably would have had to freeze or use her ability eventually if she had locked onto the CC first. So now she pops the hound. Really nice poison spell there. Gets the witch, and on most of the pups, she's going to step up. He's out of rages at this point because he brought two freezes and a jump, so he only has room for two rages in his army comp. But that's all right. That's all she needed. He'll be able to pop her ability when she goes into the core for the eagle and the enemy queen. So here he goes, starting with the king. He's going to drop the king right here to walk this way like this and go back this way so he knows he's going to make the funnel. Then all the miners this way through this channel with the warden. And he goes ahead and decides to use the royal champ right behind the miners. It, it's really a personal preference. Some people are saying, you know, it's probably better value to use the royal champ on the side like this when you're using miners so that way the the royal champ makes an even extra funnel for the miners it, it's really base dependent whether you use the royal champ behind the miners or on the side this time hex decides to use the royal champ right behind the miners and it works out perfectly so here goes the second heal right over the core he still has the warden ability drops the siege barracks from nine o'clock so he's gonna get an extra pekka and like an extra 10 wizards or so a lot of wizards for cleanup still has the royal champ with her ability her ability is gonna be able to knock out all these defenses on the back end with her shield. So just a really OP Queen Charge Miners attack there by Hex. We're gonna go ahead and fast forward through the rest of the cleanup. So we got a lot of replays to show today. I think I might try to show all the replays from this day. We'll see. So there we go. Really nice attack there. Really creative plan by Hex, charging the queen like that with the jump spell. Just going straight into the core. Uh, next one we're gonna look at here is by Karma. Your Karma here coming in again with the Queen Charge Miners. Now we have seen this base I think twice this week. This was the first time we saw it. So this was in a nice original plan by your Karma doing the charge. 
into the eagle. He's going to send the BK this way to make the funnel. And then he's going to send the queen this way. And he wants to wall break right in here for the eagle. So queen can go and get the eagle. She'll be able to reach the inferno and kill the CC. So here comes the test wall breaker. He made a funnel on this side with the loon. He's going to have to use even more loons to make a bigger funnel here in a second. There go the rest of the wall breakers. They're going to get the wall open. Perfect job. King pulls the enemy CC, the hound over here with his ability i think it was just barely in range for a second one of his barbarians so the hound comes out but there's still more stuff in the cc so she's going to take out the hound we'll go ahead and fast forward through a little bit of it he's not going to use the poison because he doesn't know what's in the cc still and if it's a witch he wants to save the poison for the witch that's why he didn't drop the poison on the pups so here he goes dropping uh his first no his second rage now he's going to drop the poison it's a bunch of archers and a balloon she's in range of the cannon an expo and an inferno tower so he has to rage up there and then this these teslas are going to end up pulling her back which kind of messes up the pathing here unfortunately if those teslas weren't there it would have been perfect queen would have kept going this way so he's going to go ahead and start over here on the top side with all the miners he has to make sure he gets the town hall down that's why you always got to start on the town hall side in these attacks you don't want to come from the bottom it's a little too risky if the miners end up dying too early you'll end up getting a one star so he's going to heal really early because of this scatter shot, and he's going to drop the siege barracks with the free P.E.K.K.A. right up there from the 1, one o'clock side. Queen beat through a wall, and now she's pushing through, making an even bigger funnel for the miners, so their channel is even tighter like that. They don't have a whole lot to go through, and here we see an example of a different way to use the royal champ with the miners. He's not using the royal champ right behind the miners like Hex did. He's using the royal champ over on the side to help make the channel for the miners even tighter because she got these outside defenses that were over here. Out come Max Hogs from the CC late in the attack. He's going to use his last heal up here and the Royal Champ ability to get a lot of the defenses down. And now these miners push through the last Inferno. And the Hogs and the Royal Champ are going to push through these last few defenses on the end. And again, just a beautiful example of how to do a Queen Charge Miners. That one, he didn't even bring a jump spell or a ram. He got pretty fancy with the wall breakers, although it was just a single layer break. But it was a really nice wall break. So a good job there by your Karma. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at the next attack. This one's going to be Itsu. And what's he doing on this one? Queen Charge Hogs. So this one's not going to be Queen Charge Miners. This one's a little different, but not too much different. So he's going to be starting the Queen over here, and he's bringing a Jump Spell on this one and Freezes again. Using the Wizard to funnel the 9 o'clock side, just a couple balloons over here, and then the BK to get all these outside defenses. Look how much value this outside BK can get. A Tesla, three Archer Towers, potentially a Cannon, maybe even the Expo. Just a ton of free defenses for that BK walk. So Queen encounters the enemy King and a Cannon, so he's going to have to rage pretty early. He already drops the Jump Spell. You can tell exactly where he wants his Queen to go, right into this channel here, where she can get the Inferno, the CC, and reach the Town Hall. Nice and easy. He tries to use a Coco Loon to pick up a Sam, but his healers step up and grab the Sam first. Unfortunate, but that balloon does get a second Sam, so there's a bunch of traps over here by the Town Hall. Now Queen, he needs her to take out this Town Hall before she locks onto the Hound, and t the timing was perfect. She does. The Hound, now she locks onto the Hound after the Town Hall is dead, so she's not taking too much damage. He won't have to use her ability just yet. He's going to use the Siege Barracks and the Royal Champ over here to get all this stuff down, so that way Queen lives and can make it all the way through this channel. And then he's going to start the hogs right over here so the royal champ stays alive. And she's going to meet up with the hogs now. So just really perfect timing there by Itsu. He needs the royal champ to stay alive because her job is to take out the queen over here on the back end. So the queen, his queen, got all the value he needed her to. He just run, wanted to jump into that one compartment, get the inferno, get the CC, get the town hall. And that's all he needed. Uh, he brought the free spells because he wasn't sure if he would need them for the charge or not. He didn't, so he ends up freezing the queen, and then he really could swag the second freeze. He doesn't even need it. He can pop a royal champ ability here to get the rest of the defenses. He goes ahead and decides to use that freeze anyway, even though he didn't need it. Healers switch off to the P.E.K.K.A. from the Siege Barracks, which is still alive, and that P.E.K.K.A. is just doing so much work on cleanup in the core. He has wizards for the outside cleanup and just a ton of hogs left over. Swags the queen ability. Really nice attack there by Itsu on base number 8 in our first war of the of the week for the Clan War League's Champions 1 here. So we're going to go ahead and back out. Take a look at the next attack. This one's going to be by Shazo. See what he's bringing in here. This one's going to be Queen Charge E-Drags, or Queen Walk E-Drags, really. 
He was on voice with me for this one. We came up with the plan together. He just wanted to walk the town hall, basically, use the Royal Champ up top to try and get this Inferno, and just E-drag the gut of the base right there, right through the middle, because everything's pretty nice and tight through here, all these defenses, so the E-drag chain value is going to be really good. And as long as he uses his freezes correctly, they should stay alive the whole time. That was the plan. So he uses the BK to walk this side to make sure the Queen's going to go in for the Town Hall. These Teslas pop, which kind of, you know, he wasn't expecting those. So he's going to go ahead and use the Royal Champ a little bit early. She's going to go in and clear out a little bit of a funnel for the E-Drags here. He's going to pop her ability and she's going to get the Inferno, which is really nice. She's going to chain a few other defenses too. Now he's going to go ahead and send the Slammer and the E-Drags right through the core with the Warden. He's going to have to rage the Queen again to make sure she's going to get the Town Hall down. And she will be able to. Now there's no point defenses on her except for this one expo in the town hall. So she'll be fine. She'll be able to get it. Uses the warden ability to uh, negate some of the damage from the seeking air mines there. And then just keeps raging and freezing through. The dragons have nowhere to go but are straight through this channel for a long time. So they're going to get crazy good value on their chains. And they just kill everything. They chain the AD which was really nice. And these balloons out of the CC get the last AD. And he still has like almost all his E-dragons up. At this point, you just know the base is wrecked. The queen walk, the queen herself could just walk around and finish off the rest of the base, even if all the dragons were dead. But he still has four of his five dragons up. So just crazy good value here. We'll go ahead and fast forward through the rest of it as they're just walking around the edge of the base. That was a nice, easy, simple plan, but really effective, really good plan for the base. Nice execution there by Shazo. So we'll go ahead and back out. Take a look at the next attack. This one's going to be by Vince. Pablo Escobar himself, and he's going to be doing pretty much a really similar attack to the last one we just saw, except this time with normal dragons instead of E-dragons. Again, you guys, if you see these bases with the outside town halls, the ones that you can just send your queen down and walk the town hall, and there's no infernos like right here that can snipe your healers, you got to walk the town hall. Expect a few seeking air mines on the way, so send a Coco Loon like he's doing here. And that's really all there is to it. And see that Coco Loon picks up a Sam. Just perfect right there. So all you got to do is get your queen to walk into the channel. Make a little funnel on this side. Uh, bring a bunch of rages and freezes to keep queen alive. She'll be able to get the town hall. Send your BK down the funnel the other side. And then just send your dragons right through the middle of the base. You can bring E-dragons. If all the buildings are really tight. Honestly, E-dragons would have worked on this attack also. If he brought E-drags, it still would have tripled. But he decided to bring the normal dragons. He probably doesn't have his E-Dragons leveled up on this account, I bet. This account's a little bit, a little bit, uh, not as leveled up as his other one, but here he goes, bringing in, uh, the king over here on the 9 o'clock side. He's gonna walk this way. He already killed the CC that came out to his queen. He's raging up the queen again just to make sure she stays alive so she can get his AD and a few more defenses on the edge of the base. And now all the dragons coming in through the core. He's going to rage early. There is a scatter shot and an eagle on them, so he's going to pop the Warden ability really early while all the dragons are still alive, so he gets as much value out of that Warden ability as possible. Queen still has her ability, and he still has his Royal Champ, so he's going to send in his Royal Champ from this side. Again, kind of like uh, what Karma did with the Miner attack two, two replays ago, I think, where you use the Royal Champ on the side to help funnel your dragons or your Miners through the core, and that's exactly what he does here. This Royal Champ gets all the defenses over here, and I think picked up an AD too with her ability, which is really nice. There is a bit of a Tesla farm up top that was never gotten originally, but that's okay. The dragons will go up there and finish on it. He still has like four or five dragons up. The Stone Slammer never even popped, so he's good to go getting the Tesla farm up top. So many dragons left up. Easy attack here for Vince. Go ahead and fast forward through the cleanup, and then we'll take a look at the next attack. So nice job there by Vince with the Queen Charge Dragons. We're getting to see a whole bunch of different attack strategies today. We're tripling with all sorts of different stuff. This one's going to be Nick doing the Queen Charge Miners with this new Siege Barracks. It's working really well. Some of you guys probably recognize this base. I think this is a popular Itsu base for Legends League. But it's a little bit, it's a couple weeks old now I think. So there were uh, several people running it this week. I think we saw it like two or three times already. And so we've tripled it every single time because this is how you triple it. You just queen walk the town hall side, uh, king royal champ right here. So the royal champ gets this inferno. 
so that the healers don't die. The queen's healers never die if the royal champ gets this inferno. Then you use the siege barracks to funnel this side and just miners right here. So that's exactly what he's going to do here. He freezes to try and keep the royal champ alive, although that freeze got nothing. <laughs> so kind of a swag freeze there by Nick. He's going to use the royal champ ability. She's also going to get that scatter shot, which is really nice. Then she's going to help the queen kill this lava hound, which is just extra value at that point. So he's also going to wall break right here, which is pretty interesting. Because after that, since he funneled this, these two buildings right here, the queen's going to be able to go inside and get the scatter shot and the queen. She'll be able to reach both of those, which is really nice. Just a little bit of an extra value for using five wall breakers and a couple of funnel troops. Queen gets the scatter shot and the enemy queen, so the miners don't have to deal with those. That's pretty good value. So he uses the siege barracks to funnel this side. These Teslas here uh, pick off his P.E.K.K.A. pretty early, but that's okay. The miners with the heal and the warden ability will be able to finish off the rest of the base here. He's got three heals for this attack and still has a freeze left over. So he's dropping the second heal over the core and goes ahead and pops the warden ability just so he knows that eagle shots don't kill any of his miners. Everything pushing through the end of the base. Out come Max Hogs from his CC. He still has a bunch of cleanup wizards from the siege barracks also. And with one more heal left and that queen is still alive. She went inside, killed the enemy queen, and then rerouted back out to keep doing cleanup. Just really dominating attack here by Nick. Showing you guys how to beat that Itsu Legends base. So we'll go ahead and fast forward through the cleanup. That's going to be all for that one. He's going to get the triple. And then do we have one more attack for today. This one's going to be by Eve Check. He's also been doing really well this week. So this one's kind of an ugly base, but we'll show it anyways. Because I'm sure a lot of you guys see bases like this in your wars in the clan war league so let's go ahead and take a look so he starts off by dropping like a barbarian or something over here by the town hall just to pull the cc it also triggers the tornado trap which is really nice really convenient so he's trying to pull the cc out and he's going to bring it over here to kill it <coughs> with an archer right here he's going to lure the cc all the way over here it's a hound and a witch and a couple of archers so he wants to kill it over at 3 o'clock so he can do a little suey over here for the town hall and the enemy heroes and this inferno on this weird square base. So he uses a baby dragon just to kill the hound and then drops another archer to pull the witch over and all her skellies. Now he's going to drop the poison. I think he dropped the poison just a second or two too early because it's going to disappear before the baby dragon, I mean before, yeah, before the baby dragon pops the hound. Yeah, the poison disappears and it's not going to kill the pub. So he dropped the poison just a little bit too early, but it's still going to work out. He's going to kill most of the CC. He goes ahead and drops the Ice Golem and the Heroes over here for the Sui. They're going to get a ton of value over here. Enemy Queen, Enemy King, Town Hall. Uh, I can't remember if they actually get through the Inferno or not because these CC troops start coming over. He did bring two poison spells, luckily, so he was able to kill that Witch. Yeah, Queen's going to pop ability for the Town Hall. She's not going to get that Inferno, though, because there's just so many traps over here. It's nasty, the way the base is set up. So he's going to use his Royal Champ over here to get this Expo and the Scatter Shot, and then just send in all the Hogs through here. He pops the Warden ability really early, because, again, all the traps are down here on the south side, and that first Eagle Shot, he's going to tank it, drop in a Rage in the core, and a heal. Stone Slammer over here at 9 o'clock to make the rest of the funnel for the Hogs, so they only have to push through the core of the base like that. Royal Champ still alive, getting some work done, and she finally goes down. He still has two heals up, could easily swag one of them, maybe even swag both of them if he wants to. Now it's just all about cleanup. Does he have time to do cleanups? He's spreading out his wizards really smartly, so he's going to be able to get all the cleanup done in time. And that's how you take out those nasty ring bases that have the Town Hall and the uh, CC and the heroes all stacked in a corner with all the traps. You gotta, you gotta expect all the traps by that town hall, by that CC, because that's what they do on these weird bases like that. So there you guys have it. That's how we did on the first day in the Clan War Leagues in Champions 1. We were, we've been doing pretty good this week. We've been getting some nice scores, as you can see so far in the rounds. Um, if I click here, yeah. So 37 on the first day, 38 on the second day, 43 on the third day, and none of those bases were free triples. They were all decent bases, and we got 13 out of 5 triples. 35 on this day, that was our lowest score, but somebody didn't attack. Carbon forgot to attack, so it should have been at least 37. That's alright, we finished with 35. 
uh, 37 on this day, and here we're finished with 42. I think that means Dan just went in and got a triple. Let's take a look. Because I think Dan had the last attack there, and we were at 39. Yep, look at that. So many triples on this day also. I tripled just a little bit ago. Dan tripled just now, 10 minutes ago, while we were recording those other attacks from day one. So if you guys want to see... Uh, recaps from every single day in the clan war leagues here let me know down below I probably can do that we've got a lot of good attacks to show uh, I've also got my base that maybe you guys want if you guys want a good base uh, my base that I've been using this week it's been doing really good hasn't been tripled at all since I started using it with the new way I set up the traps it even got one starred on day two and I think on day six it got zero starred yeah, look at that. Zero start on day two. So if you guys want to see uh, my base, how it did, and get the base with the link, uh, I can show you guys some of the defensive replays. Uh, I can definitely do that. Let me know down below in the comments if you want me to do that. And uh, other than that, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Like and subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys later.